Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the historical imagery that Gogorov offers. To enable the historical imagery you can simply click on the clock icon that is on the quick access toolbar and click on historical imagery there. As soon as you do that this widget is going to pop up in the top left corner. From here through the slider you can access the images that are available for different dates for the view that you're currently looking at. For the current view, for example, we can see that there are quite a lot of images available all the way back to 1984. Each of those dashes on the slider here represent an image that you can access. Now, the availability of images is going to depend on the area that you're currently looking at, as well as on your level of zoom. So if I were to zoom into this area fairly closely, we can see that now we have much less images available to choose from. To access the images, you can simply left click, hold and drag on the slider and position it to one of the dashes that we have here on the timeline and you will see the date at which that image was captured and the viewport is going to update with it. If there are many images available for the area that you're currently looking at, you can use the zoom in and zoom out buttons here on the widget to zoom into the slider and get more detail. For example, for this area, we have quite a lot of images available, so I may want to zoom into the slider to get a better idea for which dates we have images that we can access. I think that for the most part, this covers it for using the historical imagery tool. If you want to save out any of those images, then I have covered how to do that under the session on exporting to image. For now, I want to thank you for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.